Hi, I'm Al, and on today's Summit Racing Quick Flicks, I'm going to cover valve lash for both solid and hydraulic lifters. So if you watch the push rod length video, you may remember that I promised that I'd go over how to do valve lash. Well, you can check out that push rod length video there if you haven't seen it. Now if you have, this is what we're going to cover, and these are the tools that you're going to need. Well, you're going to need, again, your basic hand tools, just a couple ratchets. Again, I have the crank socket so that way I can turn over the engine. Now what we're going to do is first we're going to find top dead center for cylinder number one. Now a few of you guys reminded me that I'm working on a Chevy engine, so this is cylinder number one. Let's find top dead center first. What we're going to look for is we're going to look for the intake to rise up and fall, and then the exhaust to start to move. What we're going to look there is just that little bit of movement. Once we find that, we're going to go ahead and back it off, and that's going to be top dead center for cylinder number one. Now that we've found top dead center on cylinder number one, we're going to go ahead and set the valve lash. This time I'm working with hydraulic lifters. It doesn't matter if you have a flat tappet or a roller hydraulic lifter. Setting the valve lash is all the same. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and have the rockers nice and loose, and you're going to notice there's a lot of play with the push rod. What you're looking for is that moment when the, the rocker puts just a little bit of tension on that push rod and it no longer moves real easy. It's, it catches just a little bit. So you can go ahead and start to tighten down that retaining nut. One thing you may want to do is you may not want to have your wrench all the way down on the rocker because it may give you a false reading of that tension. So as you notice I tighten things down and right about there things start to catch. I go ahead and I find a nice position that I can recognize like the 12 o'clock position here and I rotate things 180 degrees to the 6 o'clock position and there I've just set the lifter preload on the exhaust valve for cylinder number one. So I've just showed you how to set valve lash for hydraulic lifters. Now what if you have a set of uh, solid lifters? Well you're not going to do something called the preload. What you're going to use is called hot lash. Hot lash is actually the distance in between the rocker tip and the valve itself. That distance, you're going to have to refer to your cam card and it's going to tell you what type of distance you're going to have set. So our cam card said set the hot valve lash at 20 thousandths. So I've set up my feeler gauge there for 20 thousandths. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the feeler gauge in between the rocker and the valve and I'm going to start to tighten things down. And you're going to want to set it to just when the feeler gauge begins to catch. So you're going to want to maybe go in quarter turns and right about there. Things are catching for me. So that means I've set the valve lash for a solid lifter on our Chevy engine on cylinder number one. Now here's the big question. What, you don't want to rotate your engine over 16 times to set all the uh, valve lash. Here's a little shortcut tip for you. If you have a Chevy motor or a Mopar, Olds, Buick, Pontiac, if you set top dead center on cylinder number one, you can go ahead and set the lash on ex the exhaust valves on cylinder one, three, four, and eight. And then you can go ahead and set the lash on intake valves number one, two, five, and seven. You can then rotate the engine over to find top dead center on cylinder number six and finish out the valves. So that would be exhaust valve number two, five, six, and seven, intake valve number three, four, six, and eight. Now if you have any questions about setting valve lash or any other questions about engines in general, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below. Make sure you check out our other Quick Flicks videos. I want to thank you for watching.